Yeah, I had to pick out a suit for uh, whatever team drafts me. And, um, you know, you're an NFL quarterback now, so you want to present that way. And uh, Mr. Brandt gave me a couple uh, options that he has seen back in, back in the days and recently about his favorite suits. And, uh, you know, it's always good talking to him, a local legend, especially being for the Cowboys. And his name is very popular in this area. So did you buy 32 ties or like how'd that work? 32 <laughs> different colors? Uh, I went generic, so you know you can't go wrong with black or gray or uh, navy. So I'm uh, I went a little basic this time. You went classic, not basic, not basic, classic. Yeah, that's, a, so, that's a better word. <laughs> what are your plans for this week, and what are you going to do um, come Thursday, Friday? Yeah, Thursday I have a small amount of people here. I have my family, um, coaches that have influenced me along the way, and a few friends from Texas Tech and Cal. Uh, but Saturday we're, we're having a nice little party. Um, I have everyone in town and. I'll know exactly, hopefully, where I'm drafted, and um, it'll be a, it'll be a good time to have everyone there who's helped me along the way because it's been a 22-year journey, and um, I've had coaches when I was six years old playing hockey to um, my football coaches teaching me the fronts of football in high school, my dad's staff, um, and then coaches from Texas Tech and Cal, and obviously my QB coach right now is Jim Zorn. So I'm going to keep learning, keep evolving. I'm just thankful for so many people that have helped me along the way. You mentioned that your dad's a coach, and I read that – you're really uh, particular about how you, you draw up plays and you have a binder um, with possible plays in it for if you go on to coach. Is that right? That is correct. I'm definitely going to be a coach, hopefully a long time from now. Hopefully I can play for a very long time, and then I'll get into coaching. Um, I want to coach college football or NFL, and uh, my playbook is uh, very lengthy. It's multiple, a lot of run game, a lot of pass plays. So. Um, I'll have to uh, narrow it down a little bit when I get into coaching, but hopefully that's a while from now. I just have an idea and a plan for just about everything I do. I'm a very goal-oriented, driven person, and uh, I want to be a great quarterback first and then hopefully go into the next step and help people grow along the way, both on and off the field as a coach. So in terms of the transition from college to pros, what have you talked to coaches and teams about in terms of the offense that you're coming out of and what you have to go into at the next level? I think it's a lot of similarities when it comes to concepts and pure progression reads. Uh, it's just the verbiage is the biggest difference. You know, Texas Tech and Cal, we try to run a 90 plays to 100 plays a game. So we're moving as fast as we possibly can. Um, that play cock is not a factor. Um, the NFL, you're probably going to run 50 to 60 plays, and you have to you know, make the most of those plays. At Texas Tech and Cal, we got as many as we wanted. So uh, just the length of your verbiage when it gives it being in a huddle, calling a West Coast type verbiage, a digit system type verbiage, um, sounding confident in the huddle, carrying off confidence, and going out there and execute it is something everyone needs to work on, come from a spread system. But that's just the next step. I'm willing to um, change, obviously, into that system, and um, you know, I'm willing to grow. Because if I get the information, I'm going to learn it because it's very important to me, and uh, I love, love the game of football. Well, you convinced me. I'm not making the decision, though, unfortunately. <laughs> we saw one Cal quarterback go number one overall last year. Can't wait to see where you go come this week. Best of luck, and thanks so much.